Welcome everyone to the welcome list here on Superlist. I'm going to walk you all through getting started here with Superlist. Now, if you want to do it at your own pace, feel free to kind of click through and check out this list. I'm going to cover a good majority of that though right now. First thing I want to talk through here is our sidebar. Our sidebar is uh, where you kind of get your aggregate lists up here that we'll cover in a bit. You can see some of the recent pages you've visited here, uh, as well as you can see all the lists you're actively working on. Uh, now, Superlist works from the standpoint that your sidebar is unique to you. So even if you're on a team, you don't necessarily have to see the things, everything your team is working on. Um, but it's also the place where you can create new lists and organize those content here. I'm going to create a new list here by the start. I'm going to hover over here for new list. Click that. I'm going to call this one backyard. Uh, that backyard, we redid our backyard recently. There's still some stuff we need to do and some stuff that's like some general maintenance. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and type that, hit return. Superlist works a lot like a document. So I think we found ourselves, uh, you know, always when we started like a project list or a task list, we started in a uh, you know, Google Doc or, or a page of some sort and typed everything and then later went back and, uh, and put it into a task manager. I think one of the things that we really wanted to make sure was you could cut that step out. So you could do all that content content in here, you can organize it and you can type and just kind of stream a conscious away we go. Um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, start with winterizing. We had a uh, pipe burst this year, so I'm going to remind myself to winterize our home every year. Um, with that, I'm going to go ahead and set a due date. And that's going to remind me for this next or for later this year, even uh, that I wanted to winterize. And I'm going to go ahead and set that to November 1. And I'm going to go ahead and repeat that every single year. And that way, every year, I get a notification that I should be doing that and that I should be winterizing my house. Uh, now, I can add some context here. So I can click anywhere within this empty space or this arrow here to go ahead and open that task. And this is another great thing is I can continuously nest as infinitely as I want without having to fully understand, like, was oh, this a subtask or is this a task, a sub subtask? I can click in and I can add additional content or in this case, additional tasks. Um, I'm going to say hose bib covers is my first one. So reminding myself to grab those hose, hose bib covers, put them in. I'm going to say demossing. Um, demossing some of the sidewalks so it's not as slippery, um, cushions and getting rid of those. And you can see I just can continuously type, enter, type, enter, type, enter. And that way it gets me as quickly as possible without having to hit a button every single time or do a thing. I'm just creating a list very quickly. I could keep drilling down here. So I could keep drilling down and adding additional content, additional tasks if I wanted. And to get back, I can either X out here or just click this little guy here. And that gets me back to you know, the main list with my tasks still open. Uh, I'm going to assign myself to this task as well. I'm going to say this is for myself so that my wife knows that I want to do these tasks myself. Speaking of my wife, I'm going to go ahead and add her to my super list here. Uh, so I'm going to say, I'm just going to add her. Sorry. Uh, I'm going to add her here. I'm going to, that's blurred for reasons. It's her actual email, uh, but I added her here and that way she will get this notification for this list and she can see all the things that we're planning and that we need to do. Um, I can keep adding content. So another thing that we understand here is uh, we understood with kind of creating the app is that we have a lot of mixed media in things we do. So it's not just tasks and, uh, and then inside those tasks, like one place to put text. We knew that we wanted to organize things in a number of ways and for any number of things that we could do. So you can add more than just tasks on lists. If you need to, you can do that by either hitting this little toggle here or by hitting the slash command. And that brings up the ability to add paragraphs, headings, dividers, bullets, images, attachments, and a growing list of things as we go. Uh, I'm going to start by saying, well, let's go ahead and add an, uh, an H2 here, a, a header. And I'm going to say this is DIY. I'm going to create a, another thing by hitting return. Uh, and I'm going to go ahead and this time use Markdown. So if you know Markdown, awesome. If you don't, Google the term. Uh, but it's the ability to use kind of text to really quickly create things. Uh, so things like headers and, and bullets, bullet points and everything. I'm going to call this one Hire. These are the people we're going to hire to do things, things that I don't feel comfortable doing myself. I'm going to go ahead and drag Winterizing under DIY. That's a thing we'll definitely do ourselves. We can add tree trimming here. Uh, you can see that wasn't made to task because it's a paragraph right after that. So I can click here. I can convert that to a task if I want. And now since I have a task selected, every time I create a thing, that'll be a task as I go. So tree trimming, uh, repair, deck boards. There's some things we have to do for that and so on. You can see that I can just quickly create a list and 
go as I need here. And I can organize these things by dragging them uh, however I want. And I can open them by either clicking within this empty space, or if I just want to edit something without opening it, I can just click on that text to go ahead and make that edit happen. So that's the basics of creating a list. Uh, I also have my ability to customize it. So I might give it a new emoji for that sidebar there, a little pine tree I'm in the Pacific Northwest, right? A little grass image here. I could also upload my own or very soon I could add unsplash images. Um, and so I can hit done and now I have a new little thing. So it makes me feel a little more homey here. Um, back over here on our sidebar, we can uh, see I have this little section here called browse all when I look now because I uh, Superlist is made to not be you know, super overwhelming by default. We, we don't like to put everything in your sidebar. So everything that your team has done, it can stress people out. But I do have other lists that I'm part of that I might be able to organize and add. I might choose to add a kitchen reno here, which is a personal list. I might choose to add a one-on-one uh, -on -one I'm having here, which is a team list that's part of my super team. Um, I might have my grocery list here as well. And you can see the nice thing here is that with Teams and with my personal account, uh, I can actually toggle on and off the things that I see. So we know that on the weekend, sometimes you don't want to be stressed out about work and even seeing the name of a list might stress you out a little bit. We also know that uh, on, you know, maybe on the weekday, it can be sometimes helpful not to see your personal list. Maybe you're sharing your screen and you don't want to see those personal lists. You can toggle those things off. And when I toggle those, you, I'm only seeing my personal now, or I can toggle that off and only see my team's lists now. Uh, and that's really helpful just to one, to segment and compartmentalize some of those pieces. In addition to that, your sidebar also has sections. These are ways to organize your sidebar. So I'm gonna have one called home. These are unique to me. Uh, and with that, I can just drag things under them and up, oh, sorry, <laughs> and add those pieces here. And I can also add another one called one-on-ones and I can add content here for those as well. And this just lets me, you know, really quickly like toggle those off. Maybe that's another way I don't want to see that content, but it helps me organize visually the things that I am doing at any given moment. And lastly, I can also either right click to remove from sidebar. So if I want something that's welcome list, don't need it anymore, um, I can move from sidebar, or I can also use the little toggle over here in the all list section to toggle that on or off. There we go. That's the basics of your sidebar and the list section. I'm going to move on and move up towards the aggregate lists here. Uh, these are the lists that take all the tasks and put them in together. I have my task tab, and this is the tab that I have a bunch of different content types. So I have tasks for me, which is uh, tasks that are either assigned to me or that I've created within a list. Others is tasks that are for other people. So I've assigned them to other people in this account. I don't have any on that one, but uh, if I assign something to someone else, they would show up here so I can keep track. Upcoming are tasks that you've already have due dates for, and done are tasks that you have already completed on this account. I have completed one thing, I've done it. Uh, and as well as search to be able to search kind of all the tasks within your super list. Messages is where tasks that have messages will pop up as the new ones come in. I uh, don't have any messages right now, so I'm gonna skip that. Today is where tasks that are due today. So you can see I have to get this, find this power bank. My wife's traveling this week, so I gotta find that for her. Um, but I can also just drag tasks in. So maybe I wanna plan that tree trimming uh, and I can see I assign that to today. When I drag it into today, I have the today task here. I can also add stuff. And when I do that up here, it automatically gets added to my today. Inbox is kind of where things go when they don't have a home quite yet. So either I've been assigned a task by someone else and I need to make sure I see it. Uh, tasks that have been created through our integrations, whether it's our Gmail integration, or our Slack integration, we've added to Inbox. You can kind of sort that uh, in different areas later, um, as well as tasks that I'm gonna use with our quick command. Our quick command is how tasks are created from anywhere on your computer. So any app you're in, you can hit shift option space. That'll bring up a little window or you can hit that little guy in here and that'll open up this, this piece here. And then when I hit enter, that'll always add it to my inbox so that I can sort and change those things later. And now that I have some tasks in here, I can also 
kind of comb through and triage these tasks so I can take a look at this, you know, this one I just made. Maybe I want that to be in my kitchen reno for whatever reason. Uh, maybe I already did this first integrations one. That's cool. I can, you know, stay connected across all of my devices. I want to do that today. Uh, maybe I just want to remove something from the inbox. I can right click remove here as well. Uh, and so on. I can just continuously go mark some things complete. I just didn't done all those things. Great. I'm at inbox zero. So that's it for the uh, the tour here. There's some additional stuff. If you need help, you can go to the settings, integrations, or the help center. If you run into an issue, please report it to us so we can fix it and get on that for y'all. So thank you so much, everyone. And you have a fantastic time getting stuff done. Thanks.